Hello everyone, my name is Jack Firefox and welcome to Lost Planet, a cult classic of a game from the early 2000s that I used to play so much as a kid. God darn man, this game brings back a lot of memories for me. And recently it was on sale. Capcom decided to throw down a, a nice big fat juicy sale. I recommend that if any of you guys out there are interested, after watching some gameplay of me playing it, please, I implore you, give the game a shot. It's absolutely fantastic, and we're just going to go straight into it. It's a little, little on the older side, so it kind of plays more like a console game than it does like a PC game. But, you know, it's been, it's been changed up a little bit to be, you know, more manageable on PC. So, we're just going to go ahead and hit new game. We're going to go play the game in normal, as intended. Typically, you're going to find me, uh, at least early on in these recordings, that I'm going to be playing the games on normal to hard. I'll never go anywhere lower than normal. Um, but yeah, I, I just wanted to explain that. Some games I'm going to go hard, some games I'm going to go normal. It just depends on what the you know, intended experience for the game is. Some games require, you know, difficulties that are normal. Some games require difficulties that are hard to feel good. Anyways, let's go ahead and hit this. And we're in. Oh my god, those mechs are absolutely to die for. I just love everything about this game. It was TC minus 80. 80 years before the trial century. Humankind had abandoned the comfort of a familiar world in order to attempt life on EDN3. As emigration to the new world progressed, Facilities were constructed to handle the growing population, and colonization appeared to be successful. Got the military poison. What's that? Oh shit, it's the roly poly. Ooh, good dodge. Absolutely smashing dodge. With the expansion of the colony, humanity encountered a new alien life form known as the Acrid. They were immediately identified as a hostile presence. The humans had no weapons with which to repel acrid aggression and were forced to retreat from their new home. Gotta hold them off. We'll do what we can. Ready. Surround that one. Ooh, there's the weak spot. While fleeing from the enigmatic menace, the humans discovered the precious thermal energy lying within the very bodies of the acrid. It was a powerful new energy source. Suddenly, humankind was determined Did to Did I fight. hear oil? Charge! I heard oil. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy on these boys. Yeah. 
Oh, that dude's bigger, dude. Ooh. The mech suits in this game. Iconic. Humans developed a weapon capable of fighting back against the Acred Scourge. The Vital Suit, or VS. With VS technology, humanity has returned to EDN3, and the Great Colonization Experiment has resumed. Fucking chains are. Sorry, I was late. Better late than never. Platoon A has encountered hostile. Platoon B, what's your situation? Nothing here yet. Proceeding to the rendezvous point. Understood. I'll see you there. What the? But he just saved three dudes. Twenty-two years have passed since the second colonization. The VS has given humanity a means to battle the Acred. But outside of direct combat with the monstrosities, there is no known method of harvesting the precious thermal energy. Oh, okay. Oh, looks like we got T energy on the top left there. We got our nice little machine gun. We can right click the zoom. We can press C to fire our anchor. The question is, can we fire this? Oh, nothing like a game with a grappling hook to really make you invested. Looks like we got three separate zooms. It's like pressing shift doesn't really make us run. I think shift is more of a lock on feature. Oh, this is so cool. We're like a commando. Are we playing as Wayne? I wonder. Oh, we gotta get it in there. Ah, uh, W to rise, and then C to let go. Okay. We shooting at this? The weak point is dead. Big reload. Thermal energy, known as T energy. Take down the acrid and the thermal energy they have been storing in their bodies will be released. Upon approaching the pools of energy, they will automatically be absorbed in the hip energy pod and will convert into fuel for the exposed suit. The exposure suit. If the thermal energy runs down to zero, the life gauge will begin to drop until it reaches zero, resulting in instant death. Thermal energy is also required to power the hammer harmona harmonizer. Survive life support system. God. Harmonizer. Harmonizer. <laughs> Gosh. Life support. When taking damage, the harmonizer life support system kicks in and fill refills the life gauge. As there is a supply of thermal energy, the life gauge will continually re be renewed. Nice. So, kill shit, and you get to stay alive. Seems reasonable enough to me. Activate the data post. We can use it to confirm the B platoon rendezvous point. Split up. Regroup at the rendezvous point. Oh, 
What's this? Oh, I got it. Right. Right. Data post functionality. Restore thermal energy. The data post restores thermal energy when activated. Display map after initializing the data post. It is possible to see the map using the PDA. Destination direction. A light appears guiding the way to the next data post or the final destination. The direction indicated by the light is also the radar. Appears on the radar. Gotcha. What? Yo, there's no chance. There's no shot. Dude, Wayne has got balls of steel. My man just grabs his gun. He's ready to go. This, this can't be like... Oh. I am 89% sure we are supposed to just run. Yep, I am... I am... Way ahead of you, Bucko. We are out of here. <laughs> Holy moly, he's huge. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. Right there. Oh, that dude's dead. Let's a little reload. How are we gonna deal with this thing? There's just no way, right? Why are we even shooting at it? Why are we attempting? Oh, ah. Enter our battle suit or vital suit. I don't really understand any of this because well, these are Xbox controls, but left trigger, right trigger. Oh! Spacebar to turn off and on backpack. Okay, we're starting to do some damage. We are doomed. This is not a situation we're coming out of alive. Oh shit, Dad. I'm guessing this is Dad. Dude. That's one way to get crushed.
the lost planet. Anyways, guys, please do feel free to give me some feedback on the audio, letting me know if the game's too uh, quiet, or if my microphone's too loud, or, you know, vice versa. Just kind of give me some help in figuring out maybe the sweet spot for the audio. That would be absolutely incredible, because if I can figure it out, then I'll try to make it consistent for all the videos moving forward. Also, please let me know if you guys would prefer me doing just straight up gameplay without ca the camera, or oh, should I use my camera? Oh. That device on your arm is absorbing the thermal energy for use in your body. All done. Yuri, can I come in now? The thermal energy and your arm will be our little secret. Complicated. Come in. Welcome back. Huh? Who are you? Me? I'm Yuri. That's Luca and Rick. Do you remember your name? Wayne. Excellent. You know, you were frozen inside your BS when we found you. <sighs> Green Eye. Father. Green Eye? The acrid that killed my father. Do you remember anything else? No. Nothing. It might just be temporary amnesia. You should rest. Job's done. Thanks. How's it going? How's what going? Well, you seem to be feeling a lot better. And it looks like you're starting to get used to life here. I don't know about that. Come on inside. I'll fix you something to warm you up. I don't think anybody could get used to that level of cold. tried everything. There's no other way. We can't avoid the acrid if we want to reach our destination. If only one of us could pilot a VS. I can. What? Huh? You can? I remember how to pilot one. We need your help, Wayne. We could use an able pilot. We are trying to eradicate the acrid from this world, one hive at a time. The green eye that killed your father is one of them. We're looking into finding that one, but in the meantime, we could really use your skill. All right. Show me to the first hive. We do know of one in the vicinity, but are you sure you're up to this? Quite. All right, I'll give you the details. All right, let's take out our first hive. I don't know what it is, but it seems like the game audio seems to be all over the place. Anyways, mission one. Mission one objectives. Make sure... Make your way past the scattered ruins and into the acrid hive. Once inside, navigate around the obstacles that present themselves, then clear the hive out. Destination acrid hide. Other. If you activate a data post, it will guide you to your destination. Alright, perfect. Let's get started. Yep. Ready. Initializing. Hey yeah, guys, let me know if you want to see uh if you want to see webcam. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Ready. Initializing. Seems like that's a weak spot. Nice. Oh, we can go in there with the mech. For flashlight. Pretty intuitive. Whoa. I think we'll keep it third person to be honest. Bang bang. Oh, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Launcher. Nice. I wonder how we switch. Oh. How do we switch? But how do we switch? I forgot how to switch. Change weapons. Wheel press. I see. So it's this. Oh, snap, it's a... Whoa! Shotgun. Oh, it looks like we're out of the rocket launcher. Anyways. Let's go ahead and pick up our assault rifle. We're just getting used to the controls, really. Oh, there's another rocket launcher over here. We're going to probably need this. wonder how we sprint. Let's check the settings real quick again. Any, any sprint? Crawl. 
does not look like it. All right. Looks like we're always sprinting is the case. Whoa. What's this? It's a collectible. Nice. Wait a minute, but where are we supposed to be going then? Oh. No, wait. This is where the rocket launcher was. There's nothing here. What the heck? Ain't no way I'm gonna get lost already. Which way is the way? Which way is the way? Oh, maybe. Ah. <laughs> Smart game. All right. Figured it out. All right, me. Oh, we got some big boys. I don't think that was the... Yo! Let me in on that life source, bro. The juice. A little bit of... Gotcha, bitch. Nice. The boulders in your area could fall at any moment. You might be able to use them to your advantage, but be careful not to get crushed yourself. Uh. There we go. Let's reload this rocket launcher real quick. That. Shotgun, assault rifle. The assault rifle in this game is really nice. Oy. What is this? I don't think I need to have the gun out to pick up the ammo. Nice. Okay, we're in the hive. What the heck is this thing? Energy gun? Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Nice. Oh, I see. That doesn't seem to one shot the nests. Die, bugs, die! Eat some! <laughs> I'm doing my part. Alright, let's just move forward really quick. Or maybe I want to grab some of this. There we go. Alright, let's get out of here. Oops. Whoa. Hey there, buddy. Do -do 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 -do. Whoa. He is not a happy camper. Hey, buddy. Oh. Oh. I can pick up boat. There we go, double DPS. Oh, <laughs> we are gonna do short work of this dude. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And goodbye. Oh. Whoa. Mission complete. Let's go. Alright. Not bad, not bad. It's time to face down Crimson Unity. Crimson Unity? A band of rival snow pirates. They killed our comrades and stole our trailer. If we get the trailer back, we can maintain the VS and continue our assault on the Ingrid Hive. But it won't be easy. Fighting is the only thing I remember. I'll do it. Great. But before that, tell me about these snow pirates. The snow pirates? You mean you don't know? Hmm. Where do I begin? This world was first discovered 150 years ago. Uh... The humans couldn't resist the vicious attacks of the Acrid. They even had to abandon the colony once. Only a few privileged made it off-world. All of the less fortunate colonists were left behind, and eventually became snow pirates. Exactly. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'll form our plan of attack. Wayne, come on back. We'll discuss our next action then. Got it.
All right. Alright guys, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end and you enjoyed the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell button as that appeases the algorithm gods and allows me to feel more encouraged to keep doing content. And uh, yeah, please give me feedback on uh, what I asked earlier in the video. If you guys want to see a webcam more often, please let me know. I'll make sure to have the webcam in all the videos from, from then on, if that's the case. If you guys do enjoy just being able to see the full game without any face on it, and just kind of want to see gameplay, please let me know if you want that as well. Just, uh, and please, 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 let me know about the audio levels uh i'm i'm gonna try to make the best out of the post editing and see if i can get the voice to a good good level but uh yeah anyways until until next time guys uh have a wonderful day Bye bye